Hello techies in this session we will learn how to work with update a row in selected environment action which is available in Microsoft Dataverse all right let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace the main purpose of this action is to update or add a row in a table in a power platform environment it is nothing but upsert action what is an upsert an upsert is a database operation that will update an existing row if a specified value already exists in a table and insert a new row if the specified value does not exist in the table all right that is nothing but upsert a row in a table now first we'll talk about the connection references connection reference it is nothing but it is going to be connecting the power automate desktop and the microsoft dataverse by using connection references we have already seen how to connect power automate and dataverse by using connection references now the first parameter is that the environment we want to update a row in the selected environment correct so in that case we are going to select the environment by choosing environment parameter let's click on the drop down and then i have selected the development environment now the second parameter is the table name we'll get all the table names once we have selected the environment which are available let me drop down that there you can see right now i'm going to give the product table i have renamed the product table to product now the entity name is that products right i'm going to select the products and there you can see the another parameter is the row id this row id is nothing but the geo id column the row id is the unique id of the row that we are going to retrieve it let me switch to make.powerapps.com right now i am in the products table as i told you i have renamed product table to products and there if you observe this is my product geo id or row id which it will create automatically with the same name of the table all right now if you see the products is the entity name and there you can see i am having the column that is row id or the geo id with the same name of the table by default all the tables having a single geo id that is unique identifier column this is the product id is our unique identifier column how can we go ahead and get this row id from our power automate desktop actions in our previous session we have worked with list rows from selected environment there we can get the row id let me show you that let me enable this action for the time being i'm going to disable this update a row in a selected environment now let's run the flow to see the output for the list rows from selected environment flow execution started there you can see it is trying to retrieve all the rows from the particular table that is products table by using list rows from selected environment action the flow has executed successfully now let me show you the flow variables output that is list rows with organization let's double click on that there you can see inside my values i am having all the rows which are available in the products table in dataverse right now if i am going for the item 0 let's click on more there if you scroll down there you can see i am having product table id is my row id at the time of creation of product table that i have given product table is the name that's why the id which is having the row id by default it has been created product table id this is my id there you can see if you copy this if you go back to the microsoft dataverse table that is product table there you will find with the id 1 here you can see the same row id is matching with the id over here that is product table id all right let's click on close now once again let me enable the update a row in a selected environment and let's double click on that now the same row id i'm going to pass as the parameter in this update a row in a selected environment for the row id i'm having product id as 1 and what is the product price there if you see for the one i'm having 1000 rupees right i'm going to update the values over here as the first action i'm going to give the product value as 2222 rupees and the remaining parameters i'm not going to give it how it is going to be updating now the data will be updated based on the row id 
if the row id is exists then the remaining values will be updated if the row id or the geo id is not available in that case it will be adding a new row in the data verse table that is product table let's see that now the output will be stored inside my update record with organization response variable all right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as part of the update a row in a selected environment right now we are going to update an existing row inside the products table flow has executed successfully now let me show you the output over here inside my products table let me refresh this if you look into the row id that is which we have given the product id is 1 and the product name is television but what is the value we have given the product price right previously it was 1000 rupees and then we have updated with the value with 2222 rupees correct and if you observe the remaining data will be as is the we have updated only product price with the value of 2222 rupees and the product id one we have given so there is no change in that for the row id which we have given so in this case what happened it has been updated the existing records right now we'll see the flow variable output over here let's double click on the update record with organization response flow variable now if you see the variable values that we are having context o data type o data id and you can see the status code as one which is very important because of whenever you are going to update or insert or any kind of operation if you are going to do the status code will be one for the successful now if you see the product price we have given it as 2222 rupees and the column name there you can see that is product price right we have updated that value what is the product table id which is nothing but geo id the same value which we have given as the row id correct and the remaining columns will be as is it is nothing but after once it is inserted or updated it will get the values as an output inside our variable that is update record with organization response all right let me click on close until now we have seen how to update a row in the particular table by using update a row in a selected environment for an example if i don't have the geoid i want to insert a record into the table without using add a row to the selected environment how can we go ahead and do that by using update a row in selected environment let's double click on the action this action not only updates but also it will add a new record how can we go ahead and do that now this row id is already available in my product table correct that's the reason it has been updated now i'm i want to generate a new row id that is nothing but geo id how can we go ahead and do that i'm going for the windows i'm going for run and then i'm going to give it as command prompt that is cmd i'm going to give it the command as cmd and then i'm going to click on okay now i'm going for the root folder now what is the command that i'm going to give it as i'm going to give i'm going to generate the geoid with powershell so i'm going to give it the command as powershell and then in square brackets i'm going to give it as geoid and then i'm going to give it as scope over here and then i'm going to give it as new geoid which is a function over here let's click enter there you can see it has been generated a new geoid in command prompt i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to pass this new geoid in the row id now the product id i will give it as a new value that is i will give it as product id as 10 and the product price i will give it as 500 and if i go for the advanced i'm having the remaining parameters or the columns right such as product name i will give it as keyboard and product category i will say computer right simply i will go for computer and then i'm going to click on save once this action will execute what will happen it will insert a new record inside the product table the reason is that the geoid is not available in the product table correct 
let me go back to the product table once again there you can see i don't have with the product id as 10 and the guid which is very new guid which we have generated it will insert new guid and then product id as 10 and then product name as keyboard and product price we have given 500 and product category it has been given it as computers right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started flow has executed successfully now we'll go back to the data verse table that is products table now let me refresh once again this products table by clicking on refresh now if you see over here the product id 10 has inserted now we'll open the command prompt once again and i'm going to keep side by side over here the reason is that the guid is important now this guid is not available in the product table that is in the product row id column so that it has been inserted whenever we have given the existing record in that case it has updated right for the product id one it has been updated now whenever we are going to give it the new guid it has been inserted all right i hope you understand how to update an existing row or to add a new row by using the action called update a selected row in selected environment action